So in this section, we will move on to ISO 14. So ISO is a international standards organization, and 14,000 is the environmental environmental guidelines. So ISO 14 is standard related to environmental management. So what is an ISO? See, ISO refers to ISO gives a, a set of rules, a set of rules, standards, and prescriptions which a company should follow. So it helps a company to become much more standardized, much more methodical, much more compliant, uh, much more record keeping. Okay. So it helps a company to follow a particular kind of a standardized behavior. So ISOs are for that. Okay. They they ensure that you are following certain sets of rules and regulations. ISO 14 is a standard related to the environmental management. So this 14,000 issues standards, okay, which a company should follow to ensure that they are doing their environmental responsibility properly. Okay, for that they also have a rules. So this rule, okay, will help minimize if a company follows the ISO 14, then it would minimize how their operations are negatively affecting the environment. So this is one benefit of it. So we know like uh, uh, how a company is spending its money in terms of environmental management and how we could ensure that the company does a good uh, activities towards the environment. It also helps with comply up with applicable laws and regulations. So we have ISO 14000 gives you the standards which a company should follow. If we follow the standards and we have all the records that we have done uh, proper environmental management, then we can submit those records to the government, okay, and it helps in complying with their government rules and regulations. So, and ISO 14 is also required for becoming a part of the EMAS, Economic Management and Audit Scheme, which is uh, required if you are a company operating in the European Union. So, only if you have ISO 14000, if you follow ISO 14000, you can get the EMAS standard. Once you get the EMAS, then you can operate in a European country. So that's how they are uh, create, created a structure. So what is the benefit of it? Benefits are this: it helps in compliance. Okay, that you are following uh, the environmental standard. It helps in current and future statutory and regulatory requirements because you already follow standard. You can just simply submit it to the government. It helps in uh, uh, put leadership's involvement in this. They are also concentrating on this. The employees are also happy. It improves the company company's reputation in terms of environment. It improves the confidence of stakeholders because there are investors called as green investors who who invest their money in good companies which are following ISO 14000. Even that kind of shareholders are available. We can attract them. Provide a competitive and a financial advantage through improved efficiencies and reduced cost. So follow the ISO 14000. You can improve your efficiency by focusing on uh, uh, where to reduce the the cost involved in uh, environmental uh, actions. We can also have a reduced cost. So it also helps in achieving the competitive and financial advantage for the company by uh, improved efficiencies and reduced cost. So this is the model for ISO 14000. So ISO 14000 gives you an environmental policy. We plan how to comply with this standards. We then comply with the standards. We check whether we are complying properly. We submit a report to the management saying that whether we have complied with 100% with all the standards of ISO 14000 or we are not following it. If we are not following how we are going to ensure that we are going to follow it. So it is a ongoing continual improvement. So we plan for the following the standard. We follow the standard. If you are not following it properly, we are checking it. Then we are taking an action about why we are not following. So it's all about paperwork with ISO 14000. So thank you very much for watching this video. We will meet in the next video. You can reach me at my website wowacademics.com or you can also see my Quora answers. I am active in LinkedIn and in Facebook page. So you can visit at these places.
if you just type Sham Prasad and WOW Academics, you will get all these uh, links in Google search itself. And if you like this video, give a like, share to your friends. And if you feel that any points we have missed in this video, you can post it. We will try to uh, give an answer to you in the comment section itself. Or we'll also create another video for you. So thank you for watching our video.